Lockheed Martin will deliver three Apache attack helicopters to the Indian Army in March 2024, followed by an additional three units in June. The upcoming six Apache helicopters and eight Predator-armed drones of the Indian Army will be armed with Hellfire missiles, that will significantly enhance Army's anti-tank capabilities. The families of eight ex-Indian Navy personnel who have been sentenced in Qatar, have categorically denied that they had anything to do with espionage, and pointed out that there has been no proof of allegations from Qatar. India and Singapore have agreed to take forward cooperation in emerging areas like cyber security during the 15th India-Singapore Defence Policy Dialogue. Indian Army Chief visited the Siachen base camp and several forward posts, and reviewed the operational preparedness of troops at 20,000 feet. The Indian Air Force Chief visited various forward area locations in the Northeast, where he was briefed about the operational deployment of the detachments in the ongoing exercise, which also marks the first deployment of the Tejas aircraft in the Eastern sector. Chennai-based Big Cat Wireless has partnered with Forge, to develop next-generation secured fleet communication systems for the Indian Navy. The commander of the Sri Lankan Navy visited Goa Shipyard Limited, during which wide range of discussions were held on defence cooperation, including long-term support by Goa Shipyard for acquisition of platforms by the Sri Lankan Navy. Indian Navy undertook maritime partnership exercise with Ghana Navy ship, and navigational manoeuvres and board search and seizure operations were conducted. The Indian Navy chief has said, that the prototype of the twin-engine deck-based fighter is set to be completed within the next four years, that will feature wing-folding design mechanism, to ensure that the aircraft takes minimum space on aircraft carriers. The manufacturing process for the TED-BF will be handled by Hindustan Aeronautics, at the rate of eight aircraft per year. The Navy has committed to procure 45 units, but the total orders is expected to cross 100 units. The Northern Command of the Indian Army is set to receive indigenously developed rooster drones, that are designed to function both as ground-based robots and aerial drones. The development of these hybrid surveillance drones has been made possible through a collaborative effort involving the Indian Army, Hyderabad-based firm Brain Services and the Rashtriya Raksha University, that will enhance the capabilities of the Indian Army's surveillance operations. The range of a single drone is 400 meters, and other drones in this set can be used as a relay station to achieve a total distance of 1,200 meters. The Indian government is turning to the private sector for the development of small gas turbines with two different thrust capabilities of 40 kg force and 80 kg force, for an upcoming loitering ammunition program. India is actively working on two distinct variants air-launched jet-powered loitering ammunition, that will have a weight range of 30 kg to 50 kg, and are designed to glide at a speed of max 0.7 during its descent, necessitating the development of compact gas turbine engines to power them. The DRDO chief paid a visit to the Naval Materials Research Laboratory, to assess the progress of land-based prototype of the fuel cell-based air independent propulsion system developed for Indian Navy submarines. Larsen and Tubro also made a practical demonstration of their progress, and currently the de-risking trials of the AIP system were underway. LNT has promised that it will ensure requisite quality and on-time delivery of the AIP system for integration on first Calvary class submarines during its first overhaul in 2024. Hindustan Shipyard Limited has announced that it will integrate Shakti Advanced Electronic Warfare System on the upcoming five fleet support ships of the Indian Navy, that will provide essential capabilities for the interception detection classification identification and jamming of both conventional and modern radar systems. The first fleet support ship will be delivered by August 2028, and additional ships at intervals of 10 months. Today's top 3 comments. 